So I recently found out that Premiere Pro has an auto transcribe function. So basically it will take a look at your audio files. Um, so over here I've got a VO file. This is the sound of my voice. Premiere Pro can auto transcribe this audio. So it's just me talking. Um, and then I've got a, a music track here, just a random music track. So Premiere Pro can take a listen to this VO track here of mine, this voiceover and auto transcribe it. And then with that auto transcription, I can easily turn that into a text file or into auto generated captions. So let's take a deep dive into this and I'll show you how it works. So if you go to window, text, so you'll see a new window pops up and it's actually very easy to use. If you click on transcribe sequence, you'll get a simple settings window. So you can choose which audio tracks you'd like to uh, transcribe. So Mix will basically take a mix of all active audio tracks and transcribe that. Audio 1 will only take the um, audio on the first audio track and then Audio 2 respective is Audio 2. So I'm just going to say Audio 1 because that's my VO. A few languages to choose from, I'm going to go with, uh, with English. Once the settings are done, I'm going to click on Transcribe. And basically what Premiere Pro does is it renders out the audio, it uploads it to the Adobe servers and the AI will transcribe it and export it here into your transcription window. So over here you can see that it's been generated, it's just basically what I've said and you've got a few options here. You can retranscribe the sequence or you can export it and export it as a transcript file and you can hand it over to other Premiere Pro editors but that's not what I'm looking for. I want to create captions out of it. So you can choose what format, um, I'm just going to go with subtitle and I'm going to say no style for now and I'm going to click OK. And over here you can see that it's been generated. So now in your essential graphics window you can change the settings and do what you want with it. So for instance um, we want to change the color, we can simply change the color, I like red. You can change the font to something else, I'm a sucker for Montserrat, Montserrat bold and maybe let's put this in the middle. You can just simply pull out this little track over here and it will fill in your in and out points for that section. We can see now that this is no longer the pre-existing settings. So if we go back to this clip over here, this is the sound of my voice. If we go to track styles, we say create style, I'm just going to call it text style. And uh, we can apply those settings to everything else afterwards. So it's really good, it's helpful especially if you've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 minutes of audio. Um, it really helps out. And then you can just do a pass and um, change spelling and fix some of the spelling and the grammar mistakes. Uh, you know, it's not 100% accurate, but it is better than some of the free tools out there. And you can just simply clean up the audio and create a transcript, which I'm going to do right now. Two very boring minutes later. This is the sound of my voice. Premiere Pro can auto-transcribe this audio into a transcript, which can later be exported into a TXT file or used to auto-generate captions. So this is a great feature. Unfortunately, it is still in beta testing, so you have to sign up for it. All you have to do is go to pages.adobe.com slash premiere slash en, obviously language, slash text to speech. I'll be sure to put that in a comment below this video. And um, all you have to do is simply click on apply to early access. Just fill in some of the details, your name. Uh, you have to have the latest version and you have to have a uh, proper Adobe account. And you just got a couple of questions that you need to fill in. And then it took me about four or five days and then all of a sudden it was activated and it was on my Premiere Pro and I've been using this function ever since. Let me know if this is going to work with your workflow. Otherwise, tell me what do you use to generate captions and subtitles for your videos. If you enjoyed this video or you learned something, please leave a comment or a like. I'll really appreciate that. That helps with the algorithms. Have a great one.